what's going on guys this is just gonna be a hopefully quick video um, outlining um, I had a question on heli freak somebody messaged me because I told him hey man if you got any questions about OpenTX or free sky feel free to hit me up I'll see what I can do so he was wondering if there was a way to use the potentiometer on the face of the radio as trim for rudder reason being he wanted to be able to uh, use a simulator turn that knob in either direction and practice as pirouettes without having to use the uh, actual trim switches on the uh, under the under the stick uh, it's easier to access it's more you know, convenient and it's easy to center because it's got a little detent halfway through the travel so uh, I'm just gonna be showing how I would do this uh, this is my model for simulator yours might be different I don't know and I double click that and go to mixes here so rudders on channel 4 right so I'm gonna click that highlight it and right click it hit duplicate and it's gonna bring up a copy of that uh, but a little bit different you see this here that's multiplexing we'll, we'll change that later so we're gonna double click this and bring it'll bring up that mix for channel 4 um, so this is what we're going to use to mix that potentiometer to the uh, rudder channel. So first thing I'm going to do is come up to source here. This is the source of this mix, right? So I'm going to change that to S2 because that's what that uh, knob is uh, on the right of the, it's, it's the rightmost of the three on the face of the radio. So that's that. Then you're going to come down to switch. This isn't necessarily required, but if you want to be able to fly normally, I would say it kind of is required. So you're going to come down to switch here. I'm going to use switch D, which is the um, rightmost short three position switch on the face of the radio. So I'm going to scroll down to SD down because that's the, you know, when the switch is all the way down on the radio, it's going to activate this mix so go ahead and choose that go to multiplex here and change it from add to replace so when this mix is activated when switch D is down it's going to replace what is currently on channel 4 with what this mix is sending to channel 4 so let's go ahead and test it hey throttle simulate. hold flight mode 1 reset just, pink monkey just ignore simulator <laughs> Uh, long press model, short press model, and as you can see, my switch D is all the way down already, so it's already working. So if I move this pot around, you can see it changing channel 4. So if I'm going to practice right periods, turn that pot all the way to the right, boom, there you go. Turn it all the way to the left, left periods. Center it, good. If I want to return to normal simulator, just go to switch D on your radio, turn it back up, and you're back to regular rudder control. And that's it, really. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't really need 100% of my travel with that trim, which is understandable. Go back to your model setup, hit page a couple times, get back to mixes. You can do this in the companion, but I'm already in the simulator, so, you know, whatever edit it and you see weight here that's how much it sends the input to the output so if I change that to other way say I don't know geez this thing's so sensitive 50% then save that return 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 long press short press so now I have full travel with a stick but if I bring switch D down, Reset. suddenly I only have 50%, which is what I was trying to get at there. So now it only goes to 50% of the max travel of that channel. So you'll only get roughly half the pure rate. And that's really pretty much all you'll need to do um, to do this. So thanks for watching.